All right, y'all. One Piece, episode 15, live reaction. We're doing this. All right, he's dead. Go <laughs> home, boys. That's it. Let's all go home. That's cool, Shab Zoro. I mean, was that he won? You're welcome, <laughs> dude. Those swords are so extra. Yes, they really are. Oh no, you broke his glasses. Uh, sucks you don't have a second pair. <laughs> Whose fault is that? Yeah, I know. What is that? He cracked it. He cracked the top of his knuckle. Nami, you're bleeding out. Like, let's <laughs> prioritize here. Get back here, yeah. Let's go, kids. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> they start beating him with billy clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this kid's got balls. <laughs> He's happening right now, bro. Didn't even do anything to him. <laughs> what the <laughs> fuck? I literally did nothing to him. <laughs> Bro, they're hitting him with shovels and frying pans. Could have fooled me. Those feathers. <laughs> yeah, right. They might have been better balloons. than when Luffy dropped him. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> anyway. Oof. No. Damn. <laughs> so where you think you going, bro? Hey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. We're not the same back at it. It was uh... <laughs> atrophy. He's just that jack now. <laughs> Luffy's just like <laughs> unfazed. I love that this guy still has glasses on, but they're not glasses anymore. <laughs> I know. It's almost like you could take them off entirely. <laughs> Alright, Zoro. You're fine. She's like a broken yeah, jack or something. Yeah, I don't really get the hypnotizing you into having strength thing because that doesn't like it's not it can't give you strength that you don't have, right? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. It's hidden abilities. <laughs> Hit him with the slingshot. Thanks. Do some crazy, like, you know, propel it off a tree branch and hit him in the nose.
you talking about? <laughs> but like guy with the hat, though. <laughs> <clears throat> I have to move a little quicker than that. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to get away here. Oh! Oh, damn. Oh. Bro, look at that pose. Oh my god, that looks disgusting. I mean, it looks like he's broken like four different bones in his whole body. What are you doing, sir? Do you need a back brace? What's happening? Luffy just said, I don't give a single fuck what you're saying, bro. Oh, I hit with a double cross again. Deaded? Is he like deaded, deaded now? Oh, shit. Oh, that shot, though. Damn. Okay, Zoro. I don't know what you're doing, but oh, stop! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that Damn. was fire. Unnecessary stunting. Always, <laughs> always here for it. Always here for it. A lot of flex. The sound of three children dying, <laughs> and. uh Watch those three kills ki or kill Django. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> no, I'm the bad guy. Yeah. You see how long and unnecessary these swords are? Of course, I don't have pity. I love how these other pirates have done nothing, by the way. <laughs> yeah. He's got like his whole crew and he's fucking overwhelming them all with numbers and they just literally are like eating popcorn and watching. <laughs> I would literally fire every single one of them. My gosh. <laughs> Oof. I, I guess you don't have to do it now if you don't do all of it. <laughs> Who did it better? And it's just that shot and then Goku going Super Saiyan 1.
Damn, look at how big his hands are. Dude, this is what I'm telling you, bro. <laughs> Everybody is like weirdly not proportionate in the show. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> Mouth. <laughs> well, that doesn't mean you didn't betray them. That just means betraying them was part of the plan. Yeah. And my man passed out with a grin on his face. <laughs> He's literally ass in the air. <laughs> Damn, his voice actor, he's going all in now. Yeah. Give it. <laughs> what are you saying? <laughs> it says these guys, bro. No. Oh. <laughs> oh, damn. These guys are literally the worst. <laughs> <It's> just like, <laughs> they just suck at everything and do nothing. <laughs> I, yeah, I was going to say, bro. <laughs> it's like everybody just steady walking past each other here. Oh, okay. Like, hey man, we're gonna deck out of this fight. Is that cool with you? We're just we're gonna go check up on our kids. <laughs> Woo! Oh! Damn! <laughs> Bro! His blazer is like a cape sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, yeah, whatever, though. <laughs> oh, oh, yo, <laughs> oh, okay, I wonder your if maybe exposed. you yell all your attacks out like that, you might get a hit off more. <laughs> My lord. <laughs> Oh, shit. So I love that this man has literally 10 swords on his fingers and he's kicking him. <laughs> Bro, you don't even need the glasses anymore. Oh, my God. <laughs> this man is all flex, but like minimal skill. <laughs> Oof. Yeah. <laughs> Is that, uh, that's what Django used to look like? Yeah, it looks like it with the wife beater on. The wife beater and the nick cap. I still love how I guess they were like, we're just not going to put in a backdrop in the scene. <laughs> <laughs> They're just going to be talking in a dark room that's not lit. <laughs> Oh, 
Is the eyes red? I think so. Or is that just like maybe from the tint of the glasses? How did that guy get here? Damn. Wow. Oof. I love that, like, in the, in the future, this guy has the same shoes, he just colored them black and white. Yeah, right? <laughs> he didn't get new shoes. Damn. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, so does his hypnosis just last until, like, is there a time limit on that? I don't know. I figured it was until the recipient carries out whatever they were supposed to carry out. I guess. So maybe he'll snap out of it once that guy gets executed. No. Um. Was he dead? Yeah, cool backstory. Hold this rock real quick. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, he's absolutely insane. <laughs> yeah, that's an understatement. Oh. Oh, damn, dude, he hit him with the weight of truth. <laughs> <laughs> damn, damn. really not much to say on these episodes. This arc, I think, is coming to a close in a couple episodes. Um, can't say that I'm you know, going to miss it too much. But um, once we get past Captain Kuro and whatever, get on to the next parts of the crew. But it's coming to a close. Not much to say, except Kuro is obviously a dirtbag. Luffy's nuts, but like in a good way. And his crew of pirates, Kuro's, that is, is absolutely useless in every which way, shape, and form. And True. those are my takeaways from, from, this, uh, from this whole shebang. Uh, my favorite person is Django in all of them. And he also, he's just because he's, he's wacky, but yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I think, I think Django is the coolest because he's clearly a character that belongs in Jojo, but he somehow found himself in one piece. Yes. Um, 
So I just feel for him out of like a weird stretch of like, dude, you're in the wrong show. Like, if you were in JoJo, you'd easily be like a hundred people's favorite character. Um, I also don't really understand how his powers work whatsoever because I get the whole like, oh, it's told the person does what they're hypnotized to, but then that means people on in the Marines still would have figured out that Captain Kuro was not actually dead because once he killed that man, he'd been like, what? No, that didn't happen. I like I was captured, and then they hypnotized me. But I don't know. That's I think uh, <laughs> I think we're just doing a lot of like, you know, plot needs to happen. So <laughs> it's going to happen type scenario. Yeah. Um, which is cool. You know, we, we, <laughs> we, you know, this has to happen, right? We got to this, this, this guy has to get beaten and all that. Um, yeah, I don't really, you know, I said this in the first episode and I didn't read a lot of the comments in for that reaction because um, we're not that far behind. But. I just like I get Usopp. Don't get me wrong, and he's cool, but he's definitely not my favorite of the Straw Hat Pirates here. Um, and that's saying a lot because I'm not really attached to any of them except for Zoro, if I'm being honest. Um, like, but Usopp's definitely I would say at the bottom, just because I'm like, I don't know. I just like don't know what to do with Usopp. <laughs> like, even when we recruit him, I'm like, okay, what is he here for though? Like, is he? the slingshot guy like is, is that a position that like needed to be filled um i don't know i uh you know at least nami like has a practical purpose right nobody here apparently knows directions so like <laughs> w w which to be fair like in the like if we're going by like that's a that's a thing like being a navigator is legit yeah. um but yeah i just don't know i'm like oh and you know i'm sure obviously somewhere down the line he'll like develop some skill that's like you know super useful or whatever but like right now i'm like man we are spending a lot of time on Usopp because he can use a slingshot. <laughs> like, the I don't know. He's the marksman <laughs> and the storyteller. <laughs> I, yeah, I guess so. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's my two cents. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I mean, listen, we're gonna we're gonna continue along here, and uh, we know this is just the beginning. This is where things are, you know, they're kind of cultivating their team, their squad here, and eventually they're gonna go kick ass and stuff. Like you guys have told us, but you know, got to trudge through these to kind of get used to who these characters are, why they're part of the squad or the crew rather. And, uh, you know, so we have a better grasp on their character growth as we go forward and, you know, just all the characters in general and the, and the crew. But anyway, that's going to do it for us today. Make sure you guys are liking this video, commenting your thoughts down below, subscribing to the channel uh, and sharing with your friends as well. Uh, hit us up. In the description, we have a link there. It says Linktree, and that'll bring you to all the other ways that you can support the show, whether it's social media, audio-only platforms for podcasts, uh, our free Discord, which has over 600 people and growing by the day, so we'd love to have you there. Uh, our second YouTube channel, The AOA Show, and namely our Patreon. If you want to support us, that is probably the best way to do it, although all the other things do go a long way, so please do those. Um, but it's a great way to get exclusive benefits of the show while also helping us. It's really a win-win namely early access in an unfiltered unedited format to live reactions such as these so you'll definitely want to go and check that out but thank you so much for watching and until next time we will catch you all on the flip peace peace ninjas are samurais blaze of the cool knives find me in the leaf of the cloud screaming out bankai we just some ghouls though who like seeing parts fly they like what you're saying I'm gonna go through the storylines. I tested your neck from the start. My hunters gonna come for your heart. I promise you'll land in my boulevard. Left them in one piece. No.